Today I'm going to share with you how I made this art journal page. It's about looking for a new home, because that's what I'm doing right now. So, I started with sketching some houses. I started with a pencil and then I changed to a regular ballpoint pen and erased the pencil marks. Normally I would use a marker for doodling, but I used ballpoint pen because I wanted the houses to look sketchy. I tore some pieces from an old book in a cloud form just to get the page started. And I painted some blue stripes with transparent acrylic paint using the wood grain stencil turned sideways. While it was drying, I cut out the houses. I sprayed water on the blue paint to dilute it, and then I painted over the stenciled stripes. I had a vision about houses glowing against dusk or dawn, so I mixed the yellow and red paint to create that kind of background. I spread some white paint in between different areas to blend them smoothly together. I added some pieces of book page to some of the houses and I painted over the houses with yellow transparent paint as you can see. I'm going to give these houses more color later. Now I'm adding some gesso, because I think the page is too dark. I mixed water with gesso and made some white splatters and some pale blue splatters as well. And then I let the page air dry for a while. And now it's time to color the houses. I use watercolor, which is something that I like to do in my art journals quite often. I use very little color, I just want the houses to look slightly different from each other. I thought that some of the houses could have metallic shiny roofs, so I'm using gold foil, which is recycled chocolate wrap by the way. I really like how the houses turn out after coloring and adding the roofs. stamp the words home, home, home. One of the M's gets smudged. But it's not permanent ink and I have used gesso, so I just wipe it off. I outlined the town line with a 0.7 permanent pigment marker. This is water soluble marker that I use for shadowing. Finally, I added some journaling with the same ballpoint pen that I had used for sketching the houses. And I framed the page with the ballpoint pen as well. I think this black scribbling looks really nice against bright colors. And we are done! Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and share this video if you like it.
or leave a comment or give me a thumbs up, so I'll be making more of these videos. Bye!